Welcome to another episode of AP Bassing. Didn't think I'd ever say that again, but here we are. Welcome back to the channel. It's always a good sign when you're at a boat ramp and you've got a battery. I feel like this happens to me more than I just come here and start my boat up. The winters are tough on batteries, especially lead acid batteries. One year free replacement. Good thing they all seem to die within 13 months. Quick. Oh, one, two here. Yo, hello, how's it going there? Battery department. Oh, it's going just fine, Alex. How are you doing? Well, I didn't really want to see you today. Why don't you want to see me? Well, because you're just supposed to kind of work. This is also a cluster. Let me teach you guys something really quickly. The key to, the key to this is having a kill switch for your battery, which I currently don't have. So, there's that. Oh, orangutan behavior is paying off. Nothing's on fire. I'd say that's a good start. Oh, hello, we have power. All right, it uh, it couldn't just be one battery. It had to be a trolling motor battery that's out too. Before I left, um, kind of knew that I had issues, but kind of like life. When you have issues, you don't really want to deal with them. You kind of just don't deal with them. Usually until it's too late. Okay. Okay. It's kind of cool when I used to upload more frequently, I feel like I'd run out of ideas. And now, since I don't even know how to upload, I have so many ideas. Okay, there's a bunch of different things I want to try. Unfortunately, it's already three o'clock. Three, it's actually almost four o'clock, I think. I don't care what time it is. All that matters is when the sun goes down. And it's pretty chilly out here. It is March. I am fishing on my favorite pond, Lake Michigan, and there's many reasons why today I'm fishing on Lake Michigan for my first video back in a minute, mostly because it's my favorite pond, like I said. Whenever I, whenever I come back with one of these videos, I always like to act like I've just been fishing all the time, and I'm like some master angler now. The only thing I am good at is a master baiter at this point. It's a fish in here. Oh. Jeez, is it windy? Am I gonna be able to fish the main lake today? Even though it's a cold winter day and everybody I've seen on the streets is wearing winter jackets and hats and gloves and all sorts of stuff. When the sun is out, man, it is a beautiful piece of energy. couple things when you're on the big pond make sure you have a life jacket and make sure you have some sort of device to contact 
back home. Oh, what the heck? Right on the bottom? What's going on? That was really weird. I just got hit. Just got hit. What is that? What was that? Ah! It's cold. That was my only chance. I had a bite and I missed it. That doesn't sound like you. Trying to bite here. Got him. Got him. Yes. The species we're after! A coho salmon, baby! And just like that, we are back. I immediately catch one? Okay. How else can I catch them? I don't want to use the same lure twice. Ah! My toe! Crap! Ah! ah. Water temp, 34 degrees, 36 degrees. Gosh, that's cold. Well, as my buddy Clayton would say, if it ain't chartreuse, it's no use. And we've got the scissor kick. Oh, wow, this lighting is butter cheeks. Butter cheeks McGee over here. All right, there we are. What's up, butter cheeks? You guys haven't known, I've been, uh, I've been co-starring. I wouldn't say star, I guess. I would be co-destroying the Barstool Outdoors channel with my friend, <coughs> Sydney. And um, the other day I was using the scissor kick in this, in this pond and we were trying to catch crappies. And there was, comment, there was a comment that doesn't even know what a jigging spoon is or something. And it was, or he's like, he calls it a jigging spoon and it wasn't even a jigging spoon. It's like, this is for sure a jigging spoon. Fish on, fish on. Nice one, baby, we're on him. Fish number two. Oh man, do they smell good. Ho-ho's for the dinner table. So my original plan was just to come out here and troll. And truthfully, the reason why I wanted to do that was be Oh, that was a good take. And the reason for that was, I mean, I always think about Lake Michigan. It's one of the, it's one of the only lakes that I'm constantly just thinking about. Where are the lake trout? Where are the salmon? Where are the brown trout? Where are the rainbow trout? Where are the smallmouth bass? What are they doing? What is this doing? You know, it's like, there's so many opportunities out here. And it's crazy to think about how 70 years ago there were no salmon in here. And then now there's a, a salmon population because of people stocking them. And I came in from a flight. And the reason why I'm making this video really is to, to well, there's a lot. There's a lot of reasons. But I just, I flew over Lake Michigan this morning on the flight and it was, it was completely calm. There was no wind. By the time I got my batteries fixed and realized my boat was in shambles, you know, the wind picked up. Nonetheless, I, I don't mind the wind as long as I don't die and sink. I know you guys, I don't know. Maybe it sounds alright. Who knows? Who cares? We're fishing! So yeah, I think you guys can tell I really do enjoy fishing and it's something that I need to share 
So there's that. We caught two fish. I'm not really sure if that was luck or if I'm skilled, but uh, I didn't get another bite in that area. So now we're trolling again. I'm looking on the live scope, looking on the side scan, just trying to see if I see any bait really. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna turn the grill on because I'm hungry. I haven't eaten anything. I'm starving. I've got two salmon to eat. I got salmon, fresh salmon. Who doesn't like fresh salmon? If you don't like fresh salmon, something's wrong with you. Since sometimes I feel like one of these screaming seagulls over here, I feel like this is a great time to talk to you guys. So over the last couple months, I've gone through a lot of changes, a lot of... Hey! Hey! Shut up! So let's talk about love. Something that's a mystery, it's hard to find, it's elusive. Some people say you can obtain it. I don't know if I've ever felt the way I do about fishing. I've attempted to quit multiple times. I've thrown in the towel. I've thrown in the towel. Fish on. Yeah! Ha 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 ha! Another one bites the dust. Another one dies. Another one dies. Another one bites the dust. Yeah, this guy's definitely getting eaten. And we're about to hit this dock here. The dinner bell is ringing. Together. First one came on that little bait right there. Second one did not come on the pair of pliers, it came on the dinner bell. We're about to hit a dock. One more until the limit. And yeah, back to love. It it's truly a weird feeling when you've fallen in love with something. Can't say that I've met my significant other yet, or if I ever will, who, who knows, who cares? What I do know is I truly do love fishing and I love the outdoors, understanding nature and being outside. And yeah, growing up, I, I always knew I loved it, but I just, it's, when you love something, you let it go and then you always come back to it. You, no matter what happens to you, no matter, what you go through, you always come back to it. And I am back to it. Um, I'm back, obviously I'm fishing right now, so that's cool. But yeah, and I, and I just wanted to say I'm sorry for having that little brain fart at Game of Inches. Turned my phone off for a month after that, just kind of went rogue, worked on myself, ate some food, got some sleep. You know, things humans have to do. But. We're back here now. We're fishing. Wow, does that look good. Oh. Oh. 
would probably recommend doing this on your boat carpet. Oh wow, that sounded good. This is gorgeous meat. They've got me. They've got me surrounded. If you would believe this, there was no lemons at the store I went to. But uh, my favorite way to cook salmon is lemon, lemon, salt, and pepper. Lemon, salt, pepper, and butter. Forgot the butter. So we're gonna use lemon pepper seasoning, salt, and butter. Never be afraid of butter. It's your best friend. It just tastes so good. All right. Salmon's got to cook for about 25 minutes, so might as well head back to the ramp. Gonna be eating good tonight. Let's see what it looks like. Made it home. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Demolished. Man, salmon is good. Could be my favorite fish. Could not be. I don't know, but do I love salmon? And do I love fishing?